that's Raven West, Nathan McCain and Laura Carvalho leading the charge here at Strada Alpina. With Seneca's Yume Tanaka hot on their heels and has been for the last eight laps. Could this be the race where she makes Grid World Series history? Valentin Manzi, a one-man army in the midfield, trying to gain ground but being blocked by North Point. I can't get through. Tell them to defend. I woke up in a great mood that day. The weather was perfect. The team was finally getting noticed. Number 22 defends their position. Nice one, 22. Keep pushing. Seneca has been on a magic carpet ride this year. Yume Tanaka now. Cavalio in her sights. Poised for the overtake. She commits. Raven West forgets. It is easier to chase than it is to lead. And she's through. This proves beyond doubt that Raven West can be challenged and will be challenged. Yume was definitely on form, but there were a lot of laps to go. My focus was the same as always. Just close the gap, whatever it takes. Laura, get the position back. I'll try. Leave it to me. I won't let her pass. It's McCain versus Tanaka, an unbelievable race for Seneca. Pressure. <laughs> no, no, screw that. Look, if these idiots can't keep their cars on the track, it's their problem. Tanaka spots a gap. It's all or nothing. McCain doesn't like it. Contact. Tanaka spins out. North Point have nowhere to go. This is a huge incident. Tanaka into the wall. Manzi sideways on the grass. Seneca number 21 out. Number 22 damage. Debris littering the track. This is unbelievable. So you don't take any responsibility for what happened? Hell no. And that's Raven West, Nathan McCain, and Laura Carvalho leading the charge here at Strada Alpina. Tanaka spots a gap. It's all or nothing. Contact! In a situation like this, all you can do is hope that the drivers are all okay. It's on? Yeah? Okay. My name is Marcus Ado, and I'm the team principal for Seneca Racing. Hey, gorgeous. No, 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 no. We uh, have that um, dinner with the board of directors tomorrow. Uh huh. Some people are born into racing. I had to work for it. My parents run a Nigerian restaurant in South London. And for them, success was never about fancy dishes or expensive ingredients. It was about believing in who they hired and always striving to grow. And I got a chance to run my own racing team. I took the same approach. Money too. Hey, there she is. In case you live under a rock, this is Yume Tanaka, racing legend. I got a sec to talk about the new braking system. Sure. Marcus Ado is something of a prodigy. He was only 25 when he convinced Seneca's board to start investing in unknown drivers and to hire him to run the team. He has the maturity of someone twice his age, and that's gained him enormous respect. The only problem is his approach hasn't worked. Last year, his number two driver set a record for the most last place finishes in a single season. This year's replacement performed so poorly in pre-season trials that he quit before the first race. Is it an embarrassment? No. You have to see the bigger picture. Finding a great recipe involves experimentation. Sure, we had a few rough years, but once we succeed, and I really believe we're going to, we may well become the best team on the grid. But for now, what? Season starts in three days, you're down a driver. <sighs> Guess I'll have to find a new driver. And Seneca continued to have trouble during testing with multiple drivers involved in on-track incidents. No mistakes this time. Mm. Run it again, but with less throttle. Don't worry, just superficial damage.
We'll get there. I promise. They now look to their new signing, taking on the number 22 to turn around this bad spell. My mother has this saying, it's the farmer that makes the dish. What that means is you have to adapt to the ingredients on hand. I went to scout one driver, but found another. And I was impressed by our chat, so I made an offer. Wait, you were impressed by a conversation? <laughs> That's right. You see, to me, when a, a person's capable of greatness, it's not just about performance. It's about them, who they are. Great drivers are like the great in, in any field. You know, they have an obsession, a hunger. They have a need to be more, to prove what only they know they can be. I haven't met anyone this passionate since I found Yume. Elimination race. You need to stay out of the danger zone when the timer starts counting down. Because as the title suggests, those in the danger zone when it hits zero will be eliminated. The timer is then reset, and the racers closest to the back of the pack will find themselves in the danger zone again. Cars are eliminated and two only one remains. So drive fast, stay ahead, and if you find yourself in the danger zone, then do everything it takes to get out of there. My name is Yume Tanaka. I've been lead driver with Seneca for three years now, and my goal is to become the first woman ever to win the championship. Let's talk about your new teammate for a moment. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about Marcus Addo hiring an unknown? Look, Addo likes to invest in potential, and that's who we are as a team. But when it comes down to it, the thing that matters is, are you actually good enough? It takes serious talent to race across this many disciplines and events in a single season. Racing teams don't survive on effort or good intentions. We need to win. My name is Ajit Singh. I'm Seneca's lead engineer. Is that okay? Cool. Come on in. Welcome to the garage. Now this, this is our new baby. Ultra Icon Mark III, but with a few upgrades. Full electric drive, active suspension, reposition fuel cells. Look, you can see most of the weight is down here in the chassis. And this one, this is an old friend from last season, Jupiter San Marino. I got this job by betting Marcus Addo I could make an old Eagle Ray Mark IV run faster than the Type 8. And I did it in under a week. Now I work on anything with an engine and a roll cage. Touring cars, muscle cars, open wheel. If it's grid legal, I can build it to win. <laughs> Challenge is finding someone you can drive them all. <laughs> Chop it all up if you want to go back over anything. Yeah, all right. Be great. I just I hope I don't say anything stupid. Don't record anything stupid, yeah? What's your name? Tom. Tom. Lovely to meet you. Tom. You all right, dear? Tom? <laughs> Okay, let's get this started. Hi, I'm Valentin Manzi, and I'm a 10-time grid world champion. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I've, I've never actually won. <laughs> I've come close, though. Difficult result for Seneca 22 there. Heard uh, the new driver broke the tail off that you mom? Yeah, I still haven't nailed down that new braking system yet. Are you on board with this? Bringing in some amateur this close to the start of the season? You were some amateur until Ada hired you. <laughs> Thought you had a Dumont to fix?
So it's now becoming clear that this Seneca driver has some real chops. But doing well across a few races is not the same as doing well across the whole range of the grid. Well, we're giving bots around for the money, aren't we? And Marcus Ado is under enormous pressure to deliver a good result this season. Yeah, I, I agree. We can't keep it up. None of it matters. Here's the grim reality. Either Seneca delivers magic this season, or they won't survive as a team. No, it's, it's not optimism, it's faith. Try it sometimes. It's not just the cars that make this discipline different from anything else in the series. During a race, the drivers can deploy a boost to overtake their competitors. This temporary speed boost can be charged once per lap of the race by driving through the boost zone. These boost zones are placed off the ideal racing line. So for our racers, there is a risk to filling that boost charge. But in a pinch, that boost could pull you into pole position for the win. The Grid World Series once again revs up its engines, and the Pro Series is the pinnacle of racing, where our teams need to stay in the safety zone and be one of the eight teams to make it through to our show-stopping finale, the Gauntlet. How long is it going to take? Just word for me. Thanks. Sorry, Kate. Thank you. Nathan McCain interview, take one. Who's that guy? You seen this new lobster place down the road? You gotta choose which one you kill. You go to this big, like, box where they're all in. It's all blue and gnarly, and you're like, I wanna kill that guy. Do I kill it? No, I'm not an animal. <clears throat> okay, let's get going. Okay. <clears throat> Do you want to say your name and introduce yourself? They know who I am. Hi, I'm Nathan McCain, five-time Grid Series world champion. Soon to be six times, and that's a new record. Yo, yo, yo. Get to second place if you can, but you stay behind Nate. Am I clear? Yes? Fine. Whatever. Hey, my favorite nephew. Listen, what's with the, uh, what's with the camera crew? I don't know. We're making some kind of documentary about the grid. Right. Um, actually, it's about Seneca. <laughs> oh, wow. I think I'd rather eat my own face. <laughs> Good luck. Come on. Kane, interview, take one. Okay. Two secs. Okay. <clears throat> right. Thanks for taking the time to be with us today. I just wondered what your thoughts are on Seneca. 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 They're the, uh, the blue and white team, right? They all look the same in the rear view mirror. Look, you know how I keep raving West on top, year after year, race after race. It ain't some highfalutin philosophy about turnips. It's, it's something teams like Seneca just never, ever have. Money. Well, money and good looks. Listen, good looks are a curse. You should count yourself lucky. Of course yeah, you can. can. Thank oh, pleasure. you. Thank you. Nice loser sticks a phone in my face. Get this master a million pieces. Hey, you should be thanking them. The fans are the only reason why any of us have a job. No, my uncle's pile of gold is the reason you have a job. <laughs> well, you know what? Screw the fans. They love me no matter what I do. I just don't get how they're doing it. Is it something in the fuel system? It's not the cars. It's McCain. He's a force of nature out there. 
Doesn't hurt it was raised on milk from a cash cow. What Raven West wants, Raven West buys. How did you arrive at Raven West? I just went to a street racing festival in Brasilia when Bar Cruzado offered me the seat at Seneca. I didn't even hesitate. But before I could sign, Ryan McCain offered me twice as much to join Raven West. Best team, best car, a chance at a legacy. How could I say no? Please, please, can I get a selfie? Of yeah, course you course. can, anything. No, my pleasure. Perfect. Thank Pleasure. You. Thank you. You see? Do you ever regret your choice? Not if we keep winning. And it's Seneca number 22 coming in third place tonight. Both Seneca cars reach the podium. Another great day for the team. give him a run for his money. What do you think about Seneca's current form? In a word? Unprecedented. Incredible. Decent. You ask me again, you see what happens. It's not just that they've worked their way into the upper midfield on such a small budget. It's that they're finally doing it with both drivers. Right now, this moment, this is the best we've ever been. But when you succeed, people want more. So it's time for us to deliver. Last season, Volts were shut out of the Pro League entirely. Now they've made it to the pros, they are becoming a real threat. Hey, watch where you're going. What is his problem? Maybe we'll be the ones to take down Raven West. Do you think a team like Seneca stands a chance with Nathan McCain out there? Maybe if they had two Yuma Tanakas. Teams today need to be firing on both cylinders if they want to stand a chance. But if this newbie does good, then bring it on, baby. That's why we're here. Seneca's goal this year was to beat Volts. But now they're doing as well as they are, they've got to be asking themselves whether they should shoot higher. And in the grid, nobody is higher than Raven West. So, you think you're fast? Well, time attack is where you can prove yourself against the competition. In this discipline, you'll be sharing the track with other competitors, all trying to get the fastest lap time. So, not only do you have to achieve eye-watering lap times, you have to do it while avoiding the race traffic. With a set number of laps or time to lock that fastest lap in place, every second counts if you want to drive away a Time Attack champion. Yeah, I won't lie, this season's been disappointing for me, personally. Nathan McCain trying to overtake Valentin Manzi now, and he's been clipped. McCain putting Manzi out of action once again. Nate. <laughs> what was that today, man? You got a problem with me, Valentine? I got no problem dealing with you. If you want to trash talk me in the press, mm. that's fine. But what you keep doing up there, that stops. Or you're going to get somebody hurt. Yeah? Hopefully, it'll be you. Whoa! Hey! Hey! Oh. hey. <laughs> So we know it's Kung Fu. I'm still faster than him. What about Seneca? People are saying they're the real threats, and you seem to get more aggressive every time you face them. You know what? I'm done. Take your mic. Okay. And that's Raven West, Nathan McCain, and Lara Carvalho leading the charge here at Strada Alpina. With Seneca's you made Tanaka hot on their heels. Could this be the race where she makes Grid World Series history? Tanaka spots a gap. It's all or nothing. McCain doesn't like it. Contact! In a situation like this, all you can do is hope that the drivers are all okay. Uh, 
We're still investigating the cause of the accident, but right now it appears there was a fault in the active suspension system combined with a direct impact to the right rear tire. Uh, Yume Tanaka is out of surgery and in stable condition, but she, um... They have to amputate the leg below the knee. Hey. How did this affect Seneca's chances of qualifying for the gauntlet? Should go home, Ajit. It's been a long day. To resigning? Yumi's one of my closest friends. And that wheel, it should never have come off. No matter how reckless McCain might have been. They want to sell the team, Ajit. Who does? Board of Directors. They gave me an ultimatum. Deliver a miracle, or I'm gone. And they tried to recoup their investment. Can they even do that? They could do whatever they want. We can still qualify, though. We just need to up our game. No more mistakes. No self-pity either. You're asking a lot from one driver. I'm asking a lot from both of you. This is where it gets messy. From now on, teams will be eliminated. Not just from the race, but from the season entirely. Until we are left with just eight teams going through to the gauntlet. There we go, our first team eliminated from the season. Team bites the dust, and Seneca managed to hang in there. Since the accident, I've been up in my game. There isn't a lug nut I haven't tied to myself. We're going into the gauntlet with the most finely tuned cars we've ever had. The most finely tuned cars, but we're still going into the gauntlet with just one driver. We might have some news on that. Sorry I'm late. I had a call that went on a bit too long. How are you missing your best driver? She wanted it to be a surprise. How tough has the recovery been for you after the injury? <laughs> I've been asked this question a lot and I will answer one last time. Of course, it is tough. I wake up and it's not there. It's... Let me be clear, I'm nowhere near the end of this. I have many obstacles to overcome. You may. I'm sure you're ready for this. I said, you can keep me off the truck if you tried. <laughs> I have the support of the whole team, and coming back is my decision. Let's go win the championship, baby. We have made modification to the cars, and I have to relearn. But it's just part of the story. I'm still Yume Tanaka, Seneca's number one driver. Seneca Raven West Volts. 
Yumi Tanaka making an unthinkable comeback. Seneca's number 22 poised on the brink of sports history this year. This is shaping up to be the most dramatic end of season we have ever had. The gauntlet, this is what the season has been building towards. Eight teams have qualified, only three will come out the other side. It's a level playing field. The prize is anyone's for the taking. I didn't think we'd make it, but we buckled down and here we are. Coming for you, Nate. Hey, how are you? Pretty good. I'm just gonna finish this. It's done. All right. Uh, you ready? Yep. Born ready. Okay, hit it. How are you feeling about the upcoming gauntlet? Uh, no, we're, uh, we're very, very confident. There's nobody else we consider a serious contender. No one. Spoiler alert. Well, this season is gonna end the same way as the past five years. If another team wanna get their hands on that trophy, they gotta get through me. <laughs> you mean us? No. I mean me. <laughs> Seneca 22 has crashed disaster. Not one of Seneca's best races. Raven West again dominating the competition. Final team from in touch and distance of the championship trophy. Less than 24 hours now before the final race takes place right here on this track. Raven West, Volts, and Seneca have been taking practice laps all weekend, and things are getting very, very tense. Hey, Ajit. All right. Look, there's something that I need to show you. What, well, your selfies? At first, I couldn't believe what she was showing me. Look, it's, it's not a joke. This is serious. Then I realized. What is that? Wow. I mean, that's low. Even for them. Unsanctioned mods on the computer assisted steering. Undeclared secondary power unit. Tell me, Ryan, has your nephew ever won a single honest race? What are we talking about here? You helping Nate cheat. <laughs> Think you've had too much of the cheesy fries, Adele. The sad thing is you didn't even need to. You have a great driver. You're just holding her back because she's not named Kane. Is this your doing? You just ended your career. I hope you know that. Que saber? Eu terminei com isso. I quit. So, what now? Your season's over? Your contract's cancelled? I don't know. But I did what I had to do. I know what this is. You want my drivers gone so you can win the trophy. Well, it's not gonna happen. I will drive that car myself if I have to. Actually, my drivers want to beat yours out there on the track. That's the only reason why I haven't reported this yet. <laughs> Good luck out there today. Hang on. Let me tighten this up. May the best driver win. I mean that. Hey. I'm proud of you. Now go win us a championship, okay?
What an astonishing season for the champions, Seneca Racing. The team roared into the Pro League and continued that form until disaster struck when they nearly lost Yume Tanaka to one of the worst accidents in recent memory. Yet, here we are. They dethroned Raven West, won their first ever championship and are now here to stay. This unbelievable season will be talked about for years to come. And Seneca become racing legends. Seneca has been on a magic carpet ride this year. All I could think out there was nobody's putting this genie back in his bottle. Is it a bottle that people keep their genies in, or is it a lamp? Lamp, lamp. Right. Nobody's putting this genie back in its lamp. My parents called me up in tears afterwards. They said the entire restaurant was packed. Everyone was there watching. Said they'd never been so proud in their entire life. <sighs> Mwah. Hey, Mum. Hey, Dad. Love you, love you, love you guys. Love you guys. OK, I'm, I'm ready to say it. You are good. Maybe really good. But I'm still better. <laughs> it was luck. You know, even a loser gets lucky sometimes. I'll do it the next year. Sorry, has nobody told you? Tell me what? Breaking news from the grid today. Ryan McCain, the former racing legend and principal of Raven West Motorsport, has been arrested on charges of criminal conspiracy and reckless endangerment. Observers are calling it the end of an era. You watching the news? Yeah. Look his face. I'm not laughing, I'm not, it's not funny. It's really not funny. Mm. Serious stuff. <laughs> Turn that off. Turn it off. You listen to me? Turn it off. Just turn it off! With this incredible win, what's next? Well, Seneca had so many sponsorship offers after the season ended that Addo suggested a few of us set up a brand new team. I mean, we'll have to work our way up from the amateurs, but it will be me, about half the engine crew, driver 22. And moi, Richard. <laughs> I could not be more thrilled. We're going to do a naked bonding trip, OK? A naked Arctic fishing trip, a naked uh, mini golf tournament. We're going to do a naked skydiving trip as well. And then we're going to play rounders, but that's going to be fully clothed because safety first. You, mate, what does the future hold for you? Me, I'm staying with Seneca. We won our first trophy, but there's a lot more work to do. Besides, I'm excited about my new teammate. Seneca Racing. How do I look? That it? Yeah, got what we needed. Great. So I'm starving. You guys up to anything fun before you head back to, um, where is it you guys from again? Uh, Southland. No, we'll just be reviewing footage at the motel. You? Yeah. Uh, dinner with my fiance. Ah. Yeah. In fact, if you guys are up for it, Ever had Nigerian food before? <laughs> uh, no, actually. Cameron, have you? No. OK. And we're doing this. <laughs> uh, it's seriously one of the best restaurants in London, and I'm not just saying that because they're my parents. Sounds well, much better than sitting in a motel all night. Yeah, let's just uh, turn the cameras off. Cool. Oh, thanks, Bob. OK. Let's go.
No, it's all quite relaxed, James. We'll cut around it a lot. You know what you're doing. We've done this a lot, yeah, but of course, of course. if you need to stumble or go back mm -hmm. or anything, we'll just. Yeah, I get it. Uh, are we all good? Anna, uh, do I just introduce myself or what? Yeah, you know, my name's James Randall. I used to race back in the eighties. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And uh, do we have to talk about the McCain's? You know, those lovely men still very much hate my guts. Up to you. All right. I'll just say that I'm new owner of Raven West. And I'll leave it at that, okay? All right. Well, let's get this show on the road. <laughs> you got that right.